name is Mindy Clove. I've been a demonstrator for 11 years. I live here in St. George. Um, today I'm going to show you, this is called a triple flap tag card. And this is not my own design. Um, it's from another demonstrator named Gail Ellis. But you just pull this, untie this, and you've got these different flaps. And then you have these pockets. You can pull out these tags. Or you can make bigger tags and put gift cards on the back of them too if you want to do it as a gift. So I'm going to show you how to make this card. Okay, so the pieces that you need, there's going to be lots of pieces. That's what we're going to start with first. You're going to need three sheets of paper that are nine and a half by four inches. And then, okay, so from each end, you're going to score in on the first one at one and three quarters. So you'll score on one side at one and three quarters and you'll flip it around. Then the second one, you're going to need to score at two inches in from each end. And then the second, the third panel, you're going to need to score in two and a quarter inches. So that's going to be your card base. And then you're going to need two pieces of card stock that are five and three quarters by three and three quarters. And this will be the very back of your card right here. And then the inside back, because you'll see, and you probably don't have to do all that, I mean, because most of it's covered, but I just like having a little bit so I don't, don't have so much white showing. And then you're gonna need a piece that's five and a quarter by three and three quarters, and four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then you're going to need a piece that's four, a piece of whisper white that's four and a quarter by three and a half, and that's going to go on your inside of your card. That's where you're going to do all your writing. And then you're going to need three pieces of cardstock. First, you're going to probably want to pick your DSP. I should have started with that. And then any of your colored cardstock you want to coordinate. So you're going to need a piece that's three inches by three and three quarters, three and a half inches by three and three quarters and four inches by three and three quarters. And you're gonna need three pieces of cardstock that are the same sizes. And then you're gonna cut them in half. What you're gonna do with the colored cardstock is you're gonna to want to dry emboss them first. And then once you've got them all dry embossed, then you're gonna cut them in half at one and a half. This one is one and three quarters, and this one at two. Same with your DSP, you're gonna cut it these each in half along the four inch, three and a half and three inch side. And then you'll need some ribbon to go all the way around and that's all the pieces, it's kind of a lot of pieces I know. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one together for you. I've already got some of this stuff already ready. Okay, so these are your three pieces that are nine and a half by four inches. Okay, so then on the outside, you're gonna take your flaps and you're gonna fold them in on your top panel. This is the top one. This is the one that is scored in at one and three quarters. You're going to take your embossed, whoa, yeah, don't go fast, your embossed cardstock, and you're going to put that on the inside. Okay, so you're going to center those on that panel. Then you're going to take your smaller pieces of DSP and you're going to glue those on the outside of the card. And then you're going to take your, your larger piece. And you're going to glue that on the inside. Okay. And then you're going to take your piece that's scored at two inches. Okay, so we're doing just the opposite on this one. We're doing our embossed panels on the outside and our DSP on the inside. And then we're going to take our piece of cardstock that goes with the inside. And lay that down so that will nest in there. Now we take the one that's about two and a quarter, that's scored in two and a quarter from each side. So 
So the cardstock goes on the inside and the DSP will go on the outside flaps of this one. Now we're going to take our white card, piece of white cardstock and we're going to put it on our colored cardstock. And so this is the part that you're going to write your sentiment and stuff on. And then we're going to glue this on the inside. So this is how it starts. And then it will end up folding up like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make the pockets. It makes two pockets. Okay, so you're going to take your inside panel, your middle panel, and you're going to take Karen tape, and you're going to put it on the edges of the middle panel and along the bottom. And then you're going to take the middle panel and do the same thing. Okay, and then you're going to peel this and we're going to start building our tab card. Okay, you're going to set this right in the middle. You're going to line it up with the top and the bottom and then you're going to line it up side to side. So it's like right in the middle. Of the and then you've got this pocket right there. And we'll peel this tear and tear. And you'll do the same thing. You'll lay it on top, line it up with the top and the bottom, and side to side. And then you've got that built like that. And then you're going to bring in some ribbon. And you're going to tie it all the way around in a bow. And you're going to take the second panel that you had cut. And you're going to adhere it to the back so you can cover that ribbon up. And your back looks nice and clean. And there's your card. I've got some tags. They're just, I kept them really simple. And I'm going to put a couple in this back pocket. And then this one in the middle pocket. Or I guess the front pocket. There's not really a middle pocket. And then you've got your examples. And that is the triple flap tag card. Like I said, if you want to make your tags bigger, and glue um, a gift card you can, or you can just slide a gift card in there. I just usually think if you did it on the back of a tag, and they can pull it out to see it, because they might not realize that there was a gift card hiding in there. And that's my project for you.